we have been listening to uh, different types of corrosion lately right and in some of the previous videos you have understood what are difficult uh, types of corrosion be it dry wet concentration cell galvanic stress pitting water line etc etc right you might be wondering that if you we know about that much types of corrosion then why why the global cost of corrosion is comparatively increasing every year you won't imagine that uh, basically it has a direct impact on our global gdp and that too with respect to india definitely it has about 4% it has a effect so why do we want to uh, know what are the types of corrosion that is what we have done now from today onwards i'll tell you how to control and how to prevent the corrosion because now we know that it is a high time to prevent a particular process which is known as corrosion because then after that to clean it up or to prevent it up we have to invest so much of the money so why not from the very start we should take some decisions so up till now your understanding of different types of corrosion will help you understand to precaution to do the proper precautions let's say let us start with the very first method in the coming videos i would be discussing them in detail one at a time today i'll tell you how or what can be done related to design and material of your product when you're designing a particular product and you're using metal make sure that you're using pure metal and if it is not possible then there are certain measures which you can take but first and foremost thing is before designing or during designing try to use pure metals if at all not possible use metal alloys and at the same time follow certain principles related to proper designing let us have a look at them uh, always try to you know avoid the contact of dissimilar metal in presence of a corroding solution i hope you remember galvanic cell corrosion or wet corrosion in galvanic cell there were two uh, dissimilar metals right i hope you remember it was bimetallic corrosion so when two different metals are there and then there is a corroding solution so a cell development takes place one forms anode out of the two metals one form cathode and then you have a electrolyte solution so there is a formation of cell so you avoid a formation of that in case in case of dissimilarity the anodic material should have large area as possible if any how you don't have any other option left and you have to use two dissimilar metals then make sure that the anodic metal should have large area as so matlab as much as possible i hope you remember i said that the small anodic area result in intense corrosion right because in that case uh, the cathodic area would be large If the cathodic area would be large then electron requirement would be high and which reaction gives you electron obviously oxidation and i hope you remember that occurs at anode so if the area of cathode is large demand of electron would be more and then the supply has to be done at the anodic area that's why you have to make sure that the anodic area should have large area as possible and they also should be as close as possible in the electrochemical series so if they are dissimilar then either in the galvanic series or in the electrochemical series you need to uh, have a less gap in between i hope you remember when i explained you in the previous video there was a long list the metal which is higher in the list was active and the metal which is lower in the list was noble so if there is a large gap then there will be clear cut demarcation of anodic area and cathodic area so make sure that they are quite close to each other in the series so that this does not happen it will not result in intense corrosion i hope uh, you have understood these two points also while designing please make sure that the metal metal electrical contact is not there and if it is there then uh, you should use some insulation fitting then anodic metal should not be painted or coated i hope you understand this very easily that if you you know corrode uh, the, the corrosion occurs at anode right now if you paint it or coat it and then there is a uh, crevice or a crack on the coating then your anodic metal will be corroded highly 
so it should not be painted or coated i'll explain this in detail later on also in coming video prevent the occurrence of inhomogeneities homogeneities heterogeneities i hope you remember i discussed dry corrosion and wet corrosion there also it was there that the same metal does not have a heterogeneity right elimination the uh, of sharp corners and recesses in order to allow adequate cleaning of critical parts uh, this you will able to understand in the next slide that equipment should allow free circulation of air then uniform flow of corrosion liquid is desirable and also the design should not condition some areas or structures to stress i hope you remember that this is the first condition of stress corrosion if some area is under stress then it will undergo a corrosion which is very specific now let us uh, look at some of the pictures i have taken from engineering chemistry gen and gen now if you use some uh, such kind of you know nut and bolt and all then that is not a good option because then there is a formation of crevice and whenever there is a crevice then crevice corrosion may occur so welding is always a better option go for that uh, before designing the product and all similarly welding also you have to design properly now let's say this kind of uh, design was earlier there you can change it to this so that the water does not collects here and then you just give it a curve and that will inhibit the corrosion secondly let's say your design earlier was this so water was able to collect here and then there uh, would be different area right poor oxygenated area and rich oxygenated area you can change it like this where there is air circulation very easily and then uh, if two dissimilar metals are there in contact what you can have you can have a washer in between and uh, these are like sharp corners and recesses make sure that the sharp corners or recesses are not there otherwise again there will be accumulation of a liquid uh, you should have you know a smooth bend kind of thing that would be the better design so uh, one more example let me tell you the bending one fine go ahead with that design so i hope you are able to understand that there are different methods to protect or prevent corrosion and i have just given you one of the method that by designing proper designing of the material you can avoid the certain processes of corrosion i hope you have understood the content please hit like that will give me motivation and do subscribe for more such videos thank you so much